Can you imagine the Lord Jesus being tempted by women? If you believe your Bible, this is what your Bible says, he was tempted at all points like as we are. Can you imagine the Lord Jesus being tempted with suicide, with weakness in all points? Either it's all or it isn't all. Is it all? He was tempted in all points. Remember, when we approach him, this is one thing that gives us boldness. So when Christians make terrible mistakes, how many Christians still make mistakes? Oh, dear God, I didn't realize we had so many angels going to this church. Well, God bless y'all. Y'all look like some of them poor old mortals that I preach to all the time. Maybe I should ask it again. How many still make mistakes? Ah, oh, not as many angels as I thought. How many is ashamed of them? How many can't believe you do something so stupid? Less and less angels every time I ask. <laughs> so how do you approach him when you're stupid? How do you approach him when you do something absolutely you knew better? So how do you approach him? With boldness? Confidence? Fear? Trauma? You're scared to death? Or some of us won't even talk to him. Because we feel so bad about what we've done, we won't even talk to him. That's the worst thing you can do. He wants you to talk to him. And remember, when you do, you're talking to someone who experienced humanity. Listen now what Paul goes on to say in verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. What a beautiful expression. So a throne is a seat of a sovereign one. A sovereign one. And a throne of grace, its occupant is there to administer grace. Notice it's not called a great white throne. It's not called the throne of judgment. It's not called the throne of pointing the finger, but the throne of mercy. So what does this do? This gives us faith, confidence, access, that when I need it. Brother Donnie, you have to ever ask God for mercy? I do. Sometimes I just get weary and worn and just frustrated and, you know, just worn out with life. You know what I'm talking about? I don't, I, don't, I don't need to approach one who's sitting there looking at me when I come before his throne, lightning bolts comes out of his eyes and wherever he speaks, thunder comes down to the day. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run out of that throne room as fast as I can get out of there. He's gonna scare me to death. Don't tell me you wouldn't do exactly the same thing. But what do I do? Sheepishly. Oh, Lord. Lord, it's me again. I know who you are. But this is the way we go, what have you done now? That's the way we picture God. What have you done now, Ben? What have you done, Phil? I don't know why in the world I ever saved you in the first place, you sorry, low down, rotten outfit. You caused me nothing but. <laughs> but if we would approach him in the right way, we would hear a voice, come closer, child. Come closer, my daughter. Come closer, my son. But Papa, I've, I've not done good. I know that. I'm here to help you. Come here. Let me love on you. Come. Let me put my arms around you. Lay your head like that little baby did a while ago. He just laid his little head right over next to mine. That's unusual. They're generally scared to death of me. <laughs> There's a little old head right over there. I hope they got a picture of that. And that's the way we ought to do God. Oh, but the dawn, even in our mistakes, especially in our mistakes. That's when we need him. That's when we need to be reminded that we have access. How many has ever lost faith from time to time? Faith for a healing, faith for this, faith. I'm not talking about totally losing your faith, but you just face so many things. You just think, God, I don't know if I can take it no more. How many has ever said it? Lord, I don't know if I can go another mile. Lord, please, I, I just don't know. 
and you go before the throne of God and say, God, I tell you, I'm just, come here, honey. Come on. You know how much I love you. You want to know how much I love you? I loved you this much. And I still do. And what do we do? We just melt like butter. We just, oh, Jesus. Jesus. 